Hi everyone, it's Brittany from the Newton Carnegie Library and today on Crafting at the Carnegie, we are gonna be making these lovely dot tumblers, perfect for all your favorite summer beverages and enjoying outside on a hot summer day. So let's get started. For this project, you will need some glass tumblers. You can find these at the dollar store. Make sure they're clean and any sticky residue is off. And then I'm using a paper towel to cover my work surface or you could use a sheet pan covered in parchment paper, which we'll later bake them on. So just save you a little bit of stuff there. And then we'll go ahead and flip them over since we'll just be doing the bottom and the sides of our tumblers. You'll also need some Q-tips, some plates, or any kind of trays for your paint, and then some basic acrylic paints. You can use um, primary colors and make different shades of greens and purples and oranges and all those fun things. Um, or you can use any color imaginable, but this is just basic craft acrylic paint. You can generally find it for about a dollar. And as you can see, I've already started mixing. and making my own paint. Let me see if I can get the lighting a little bit better here. There you go. Some nice pink. So we're going to get started. I'm just going to mix up some lighter green paint. Like I said, I already made some pink. And you can use any color combination you want. For these, you could do red, white, and blue. That would be really fun for 4th of July. Red and green with maybe a little bit of gold and silver for Christmas tumblers. Um, I'm making some bright, fun spring summery colors to enjoy on the patio. But use whatever you like or whatever will match your decor. So I'm just putting some green on my plate. I'm adding a little bit of white to start. And I'm just gonna take one of my Q-tips. Actually, I'm gonna use the other end of my pink one here not to waste and just mix it together and it takes a minute as you can see there's a lot of white still in there and I think I'm gonna add just a little more green I have so many colors of these you don't have to mix and match, but sometimes it's fun to just make our own. I like how this is turning out now. Get the rest of this mixed in. Here we go, those look really nice together. Awesome, so I'm just going to get the rest of my paint out and then we'll get started painting. All right, it's time to get painting. So I just have a folded up paper towel over here. I'm gonna use this to dab my excess paint off before I start dotting. Um, you can use all your colors in the first round, but you wanna keep them pretty spread out for this round and then we'll let them dry and then we'll add more in. Um, and I have all my colors here. So I've got some yellow and some blue and some green and gray and pink. You can see this kind of clear blob right here. That is what happens when you don't shake your paint up. So if that happens to you, that's okay. Your paint is not bad. Most likely you can just shake it up really well. And then if it's still not fully mixed when you get it out on your plate, just stir it up with your Q-tip. So we're gonna start, start with some yellow. Just dab our Q-tip in. And I'm gonna dab it off a little bit on the paper towel. And then I'm just going to dot around my glasses. I'm gonna do one glass at a time. So one glass can be drying while the other I'm painting. As you can see that. And you do wanna do some color on the bottom. It just looks really pretty when the glass is sitting down. And you can choose how high to go up and how thick you want the color. I guess I should. Here we go, so we've got our yellow. So I'm gonna keep this Q-tip because I'll use that again. And now I'm gonna go in with my next color. So let's do some pink. Try to keep in mind colors that may mix together and make brown. Um, as before they dry, try to keep them really separate. Usually it's sports teams colors, so like um, orange and green make brown, things like that. 
seems simple, but sometimes folks don't think about that when they're making these things and they're like, why does this turn out brown? That always happens to me with color dye, color tie dye. <laughs> I've added some pink. Now I'm going to go in with my green. It's very relaxing. If you want to do different size dots, you could use the um, cap of a pencil, like for the eraser part, that would make a good stamp. You could take off all the cotton and just use the plastic part. That would make another good stamp. Anything round would work for this. So you could add different size dots and change it up. So I'm just going to keep going until I add all my colors, keeping them pretty spaced out like I am. Repeat the same process. No, it won't be the same. It's okay. And then I will be back when it's time to add the second layer to this cup. Okay, I couldn't wait. So I thought I would just show you, this is my first layer. So I did some white in there too, and just kinda looks like confetti. Love it, so fun. So I'm gonna do, like I said, the same thing on this cup, and then I'll go back in and add more dots on this one. And when you're making these, you can stop at any time. I'm gonna go through and do a couple different layers, but if you go and you're like, no, I love that. I actually think this is super cute. You could leave this as is. That's fine, stop and go to the last step. Totally fine, it's yours, make it how you like it. Okay, so I finished doing my second one and this one is pretty dry. You'll be amazed at how fast the acrylic paint dries. So now I'm just gonna go in and add another layer of dots, kind of overlapping them maybe a little bit closer to the dots. You choose how far you wanna go up with your dots. Um, just make sure you don't do anything around the rim where someone's mouth may go. It's probably enough yellow for now. Yellow is my favorite color, so I can go a little crazy with it. <laughs> oh, that was a big one. Don't forget these little edges right around here. Don't want to leave those clear. Um, I'm just going to go around just like I did before, add in all my colors with my second layer. I will come back and show you what that looks like before I start on my second tumbler so you can see the result of the second layer. Okay, so I have finished doing my second coat. I'll show you that. And as I went through, some of them looked a little too opaque. I could just see through them, a little too transparent. I just went ahead and dabbed back over them and just to show you the comparison. So that's the second layer and that's the first layer. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing to this one that I did to this one. Again, if you ever get to a point where you're like, I like this, this is how I want it to be, stop. But I think I am going to do a third layer. So I'm going to do the second layer and then I'll see you back when it's time to do the third layer. One thing I did want to point out as you're going, this is a cotton swab, right? It's not going to be the most durable thing in the world. So if your cotton swab starts to look like this and it's getting really stringy, just use the other end or use another one. Right, the painting. second layer of both of my glasses. They just look so cute. So much like confetti. And as you can see, I've started, let's bring you close up there. I started kind of overlapping the dots. I'm going to do that more on this third coat. So we'll get started here. And you'll look at this initially and be like, oh my gosh, where else do I add color? But then if you keep staring at it, you'll see like, oh, I could use a little more pink here, a little bit more of this here. So just be patient with it. It all will work out. And don't be afraid to walk away from this. Step back if you're like, oh, is this going to be too many? And then come back and add more. This may need a fourth round. I don't know yet. I'm just kind of going with the flow. If you've been watching craft videos with me, you kind of know I like easy crafts that come together fairly quickly, but things like this that's kind of monotonous and the same and allow some fun creativity, I really enjoy. I don't like 
complicated crafts with a lot of steps and it has to be folded just so. If you love those kind of crafts, check out Elizabeth. She is awesome at those and it doesn't stress her out. <laughs> but me, I like this kind of thing where I'm just dotting around. It's just so fun. Another idea is if you are losing track of which colors and you're afraid you're gonna add them twice, line up your Q-tips in order. So I'm gonna do my blue first every time, then my pink, then my gray, then my green, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's just an easy way to keep track of it. If you're using several colors or arrange them on your plate that way, there's all kinds of tips and tricks to make things easy for you. I really like the way it looks when you dot next to a color, especially if they coordinate. See, see that blue and green? And I've done it with the blue and yellow. And like I said, they won't mix together if you wait for them to dry. So I'm gonna keep adding this layer. I'm gonna go through all my colors. Again, you probably know the process right now, but I will show you before I go on to the next one so you can see the finished okay, step. Time to check in. Third layer is done. And then for comparisons, this is two layers and this is three. I think we're gonna go for a fourth. Maybe we're only on our second layer. Hey, everyone, I'm back. <laughs> Round four, time to dot. Um, I'm just gonna keep going. So seven layers later, <laughs> and you can kind of see what it looks like. And I decided last minute <laughs> that I think I may add a couple dots of this turquoise color um, that I just made just think it's gonna look really pretty and just add a little bit of extra something. I may add a little bit of this um, dark pink color I made as well. All right, everyone, I'm all done at last. Give you a good look. I just like those little pops of added color I added. Go and I'll let you see the other one. So they're a pretty cute little pair there. And then the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna actually bake these in the oven. So I'll show you how to do that. This is just gonna make the paint a little bit more resilient. You're still gonna only want to hand wash these, but it'll make it better for when you're like setting it down and things like that. So I will see you in a second. It's time to bake our tumbler. So what I'm going to do is I just have a cookie sheet here covered with them some parchment paper. I'm gonna put them in a cold oven then set the oven to 350 degrees, allow them to cure for 30 minutes, turn off the oven, and then allow them to cool for an hour before I handle them. It's been about an hour, so my glasses are now cool enough to touch. I've taken them out of the oven. So now we can turn them over and they are ready to go. And there we have it. They're all done. Thank you for watching and I hope you give it a try.